Well, I'm very excited because today I get the opportunity to go into something a little different. Recently, I've um, taken a couple of educational technology products and looked at them um, and said, how will they apply in education? How will they apply in our classrooms? How would they work um, with our students, with our teachers? Um, recently, I did the IPVO document camera. Love that product and, and did a YouTube video on that. And today, I'm going to actually look um, for some feedback from you. In addition to my own feedback on the Go Now case, which is an iPad case by the Attainment Company, I have one right here. And what I want to do today is show you what I see in this product, where I see it would be something that it would be useful in schools. And so um, bear with me as I start that out. What I'm first going to do is share my screen. Um, I'm going to take you to the Go Now case site so that you can see um, you can see the site that Attainment Company has already set up. And I'm going to share my desktop. Let me switch that over. It's probably getting ugly for you. Um, it's quickly just by the Attainment Company. It's a go now case. Obviously, they're building this for education. It's a product that, that we want to see in education coming through. Um, as you can tell, the purpose is for it to be built um, for durability. And when I think durability, my mind automatically goes to um, especially a K2, K3. Um, maybe even a K5 setting. I see that largely because we know that iPads are very expensive products. We know that um, it's obviously a very different situation when our students have these products, especially in a one-to-one -one environment or a BYOD environment. Um, a lot of concern is with the, the products having longevity, with the products getting broken. Um, I personally have smashed two iPhone screens and know that that's $100 each every time I have to fix that. And so we want to think about how we can get the best products into our classroom to ensure that we have these great educational tools and our kids are able to use them, keep them safe, keep them in one piece, and continue to use them. So here's what I'm going to tell you about the Go Now iPad case. Um, it is incredibly durable. No doubt in my mind. Um, really durable case. Not very heavy at all. With my iPad in there, it's very light. Um, without the iPad, with the iPad, it it's really not much more heavy than any other iPad case I would have put in there. Um, you will notice, I guess I have it upside down. Let me flip. Let me first start out by saying, very important that you do it correctly. I have my screwdriver here. Um, if you have one of these great little screwdrivers, it goes in so quick and easy. Um, you do need the correct one. I believe it's a Phillips head. Um, and what you have to do, I'm not an expert at educational technology, not an expert at screwdrivers, but um, definitely the, the screwdriver is going to be your best bet. You get that screwdriver, all you have to do is unhook all these little screws in the back, comes out quickly, put your iPad in, put it back on. And the great thing is that the screws won't fall out or loosen. Um, they have a, a built-in way to keep the screws in there so you're not going to lose them, and I thought that was wonderful because I would probably lose them. Um, additionally, another thing I found out because sometimes I don't always follow directions, um, there is a right, way, right and wrong way to put it in. You have to make sure that you have lined up your camera button where it needs to go as well as your volume button. You need to make sure that those are correct. And on the end you will see there is a place for your headphone jack. And on the other end you will see, I don't know if I can line it up or oh. There, I got it. Uh, you will see there's a place for the charger. So all of those things, I've tried them. They're going very easily, and um, it gives a really good opportunity for you to have a good, durable product that goes on easily that has access to all those ports. Um, another neat little feature I like about it is that you'll see up here at the top there's this little switch. It, when flipped, I can't do it backwards. When flipped, turn your iPad on, turn your iPad off. So, in addition to the home button that's down here, we all know the trouble we've had with home buttons. So, in addition to the home button, you now also have this really neat feature up here for kids to be able to swipe and be ready to go. Um, another very, very, very neat feature I have to say is this in the corner is um, an additional speaker. So, not that the iPad isn't loud, but we know that when we're getting one-to-one -one, um, environments going when students are using these tools we want that hum we want our students talking 
collaborating, sharing. And with talking, collaborating, and sharing, there's a hum. I believe the hum in the classroom in the past has been the students aren't working if there's talking. But I think that as we start looking at one-to-one -one classrooms, BLIOD, students doing interactive learning with project-based learning, problem-based learning, um, I think what you're going to find is that that hum is what tells us there's actually great learning going on. So with a hum, there's obviously that added level of noise in the classroom. And what we want to know is how would this sound? So this added little speaker up here takes the sound on this iPad and absolutely amplifies it, and I love it. So what I'm going to do real quick is just give you an example. Yes, small plug for my girls of Edgeview. Um, we, I'm going to just take this YouTube video. I have, uh, I believe my volume is up, as loud as it will go. So imagine that you have your iPad without this. Um, pretty good sound quality, but I want you to see, I want to just show you the sound quality that's going to come from this edit speaker. We're going to Google Hangouts on air called Edge of You. Um, we've done our first one. We did one on uh, last Thursday because we knew the three of us would be together, and so we kind of have an audience for our very exciting show. So we're so excited about that. Welcome to the studio. <laughs> so as you will see, very loud. It takes that sound and truly amplifies it. And in a classroom, like I said, with that buzz, with that discussion going on, it is so important that we have an opportunity for, for these tools to be a little louder and a little more readily. Now, of course, that does add to the hum, and it's going to mean that, of course, the rooms are going to be a little bit louder. But I love the fact that that speaker can, can be louder if necessary, um, mainly because I believe if we are thinking about classrooms where there aren't one-to-one, um, -one, where not everybody has an iPad. I think the best part is if there's one teacher that does have it, um, what it's allowing you to do is have a small group where everybody can hear it without having to hook it up to a speaker system. Um, it's giving, giving a lot of options for using this tool in the classroom that previously wouldn't have been there. So my thoughts are very durable, handle, can't beat the handle. So if your kids are moving from one place to another, um, really good idea for them to have that handle, maybe even put it to their chest and hold on to the handle, but it's going to obviously um, give them an added way to hold on to it with a nice firm grasp. Um, they have done drop tests. The Tamman Company has done drop tests and shown that that obviously this is a, a great tool. It doesn't by any means say that you that we're not going to break iPads um, if they're dropped. I'm not willing to drop my iPad to show you that. Um, however, if you're interested, you can go to their website. They have uh, they're also on YouTube. You can check out their YouTube channel. They've done drop tests, and it if nothing else, by all means, adds an extra level of security with that handle with the extra case, um, and because there's probably a you know, an eighth of an inch lip right here. Um, even if it falls flat, the case falls flat, the iPad doesn't actually touch the ground. So I really think there's um, a lot of potential in this for, for our school environments. I think that especially in a K2, um, where our kids are moving around a lot, there's a lot going on, this would be a great tool. I even, like I said, think that up through K5, perhaps even higher, this would be a great tool. We just simply want our students to be using these tools for a long time, and so we want to do everything we can to protect those tools. And so, again, it is the Go Now case by the Attainment Company. I think it is a great product. I will say, if you want to interchange it, um, it's it, you do have to, as I mentioned, use the screwdriver and screw it in and out. So it's not a quick, it's not a, it goes pretty quickly, but you can't just pull it out and put it in like you would a regular iPad case. Um, you do have to, to maneuver just a little bit. Probably takes no more than a minute. So if you have a minute, you can still certainly switch your iPad in and out of this case. So the Go Now case by Team and Company, I think is a great product. If you'd like to know more, you can go to their site. Their site is theattainmentcompany.com and search for the Go Now case. And I hope this was productive for you. So if you have any questions, um, comments, concerns, certainly leave them on my YouTube video. Certainly contact the Attainment Company. They're also on Facebook. Um, so you can certainly check them out there as well. Hope that this was helpful to you and that uh, 
you can get a chance to take a look at these if you do and um, you have some thoughts, certainly let me know what you think in addition to my thoughts. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.